Delaria Baldwin posted, We can't find our cat Emilio. If anyone sees him, please help him get home. We are all so upset. He's microchipped, but no collar. The family nanny carried Emilio out of the Baldwin's Manhattan home when news broke of the accidental shooting death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. The family has been holed up in Vermont, riding out the investigation. Late today, Hilaria posted this update, showing the cat has been found. Emilio seems to have a broken leg, but he is alert. Fingers crossed he will pull through. Emilio is a pricey designer Bengal cat which can sell for up to $3,000. Meantime, Alec Baldwin's eldest daughter Ireland is facing backlash for her gory, sexy schoolgirl costume with fake blood streaming from her eye. She posted photos alongside her musician boyfriend, who was also covered in fake blood. Insensitive, complained one critic. And an attorney for the film's assistant director, David Halls, appeared on Fox News claiming it was not her client's responsibility to check the gun that fired the fatal shot. That's not the assistant director's job. If he chooses to check the firearm because he wants to make it sure, make sure that everyone's safe, he can do that, but that's not his responsibility. Her claim appears to contradict Hall's previous statement to detectives that he should have checked all of them, referring to the chambers of the Colt 45 revolver. Attorney Lisa Taraco also disputes whether Halls handed the loaded gun to Baldwin. This idea that my client grabbed the gun off of a prop cart and handed it to Mr. Baldwin absolutely did okay. not happen. So, so who handed the gun to him? Whether or not he handed the firearm directly to Alec Baldwin at that moment or whether the armor handed it to, directly to Alec Baldwin at that moment doesn't really matter because he didn't load it. He's not responsible. Okay.